How y'all doing? Hey, Nolan. Um, just uh, coming off your, your rehab, how, how are you feeling physically? And uh, um, I guess as, as kind of the elder statesman in the, uh, in the safety room uh, with the most experience at the position, um, how much of a, a leadership role have you taken on? Uh, yeah, starting off with surgery. Um, you know, throughout the spring, I got to kind of just sit back and, you know, coach up the young guys and just, you know, be with them at practice and giving them tips. And then, you know, throughout the whole COVID quarantine deal, you know, it really was probably the best thing for me. It just gave me plenty of time to rehab, um, you know, on my own and, you know, get that strength back. But, um, yeah, as far as leadership goes, you know, it's been great. These guys are just, you know, super bought in. we got a great group of young safeties and DBs, just super athletic. And, um, you know, they're really bought in and, you know, really bridge the gap um, of an experience, you know, throughout this quarantine with meetings and everything. So it's been a good time. Hey, Nolan, you mentioned the, the young guys in the secondary. You, all, you guys obviously have three starters to replace back there. Just how do you see that shaking out? And, and uh, what are some, or are some young guys that have kind of caught your eye so far? Man, they all, I mean, you know, they've all done a great job. You know, Landon um, has obviously stood out, you know, he's very rangy, makes a lot of plays, freaky athletic. Joseph Charleston, Ray Thornton, you know, both of them, as long as uh, Jalen Phillips, um, you know, all of them, you know, have just done a great job, you know, you know, learning the defense and, you know, getting in, getting a bunch of reps and, you know, making plays out here. Um, you know, Joe's really caught my eye too. Uh, he's a thumper. He likes to hit, you know, we got some physical dudes back there. So, um, you know, it's been good. Good to see. Nolan, uh, Trevor was telling us the other day um, that that he and and Darian they they expressed how they they feel safer uh, playing football and and in the uh, controlled environment that you're in uh, than they otherwise would be you know out in society with the rest of this body. Um, do you feel that way as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know our facility, the our staff, the people who run it, um, have done an excellent job. You know, of, you know, keeping the place clean. You know, I think. It's, by the cleanest place out here um you know otherwise if we didn't feel that way if we didn't feel safe with the protocols and you know the stuff the doctors have, are doing for us um we wouldn't be out here but um you know we've all kind of rallied together with that and um you know we feel that this is a safe place for us and um and so we can keep playing football hey nolan it's david hood obviously you, you don't want to be injured you, you don't want to have to sit out but what did you learn by watching and maybe, you know, looking at a little more film. What is it that you, you know, one big takeaway from, from being out during the spring? Yeah, I thought it was, it was great for me, you know, to kind of sit back and just kind of watch and learn kind of the defense as a whole, and, you know, pick up on truly mastering what everybody else is doing and not just my position, and, you know. And when you can sit back and teach something, um, ultimately you mastered it. So, you know, when I'm sitting there back there teaching the young guys, you know, what to do here and what to look for here and, you know, just the defense as a whole, um, you know, ultimately everything, you know, just starts clicking and you just, just got a great feel for it. So, you know, in the spring was just a great time for me to kind of sit back and just, you know, observe everything as a whole. And um, I thought that, you know, really, uh, you know, took an, I took another step in my game uh, throughout the spring just by, you know, watching and teaching. Hey, Nolan, it's Anna Hickey with Clemson 24-7. What have you seen uh, just being in the back end from Andrew Booth since he's been back since, um, you know, missing the spring? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been great seeing Booth out here. You know, he's a little banged up last year. And, you know, seeing him out here, you know, at full speed, you really get to see his athleticism and uh, just how dominant he is as a corner. Um, he's, gonna, he's got a, you know, really bright future. He's, you know, freaky athletic. Um, he's got a ton of potential, so. Um, it's going to be fun to, you know, watch him grow this season and, you know, out here at camp as well. Nolan, everybody likes to talk about the young guys coming in. Any offensive guys, any of the newcomers kind of jumped out to you? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, these new running backs, you know, they, they got the juice. Um, they're, they're the real deal. They're going to be special. Um, you know, EJ Williams out there, you know, he's so fast, uh, runs good routes, and, you know, wants to learn. Um, you know, Brandon Spector uh, throughout the spring and summer, you know, I thought is really taking his game to another level too. Um, you know, just super twitchy, super fast, runs good routes. And, um, you know, he's just, he's really making a big jump out there. Um, so yeah, a lot of those, you know, receivers and uh, running backs. Hey, Nolan, it's uh, Josh from the Post and Courier. There, there's been a lot of talk about a possible association. Would you be supportive of that? And 
Do you think that's a better option than a player's union? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Yeah, there's just been a lot of talk about potentially forming a players association. Would you be yeah. supportive of that? And do you think that would be better or worse than maybe forming a players union? Uh, yeah, I think it's always, you know, important to hear uh, from a player's perspective. So I think, um, yeah, I'd be supportive of that. You know, if, a, you know, a group of guys are nominated to, um, you know, kind of, you know, give their input or, you know, have have uh, people to, you know, give their opinions to and oversee. So, yeah, um, I don't see why that would be a problem. Oh, and Paul Trevor. Is, Go ahead, Trevor. Uh, Trevor, again, with CUTigers.com. Um, you're talking about the young wide receivers. What about uh, DJ? Um, Coach Sweeney said back in uh, in April that sometimes his, his arm is so strong, sometimes he makes Trevor look normal. Um, ha have you been impressed with, with his arm strength? Yeah, he can spin it. Um, it yeah, it's fun to watch. You know, we have a, a super impressive group of quarterbacks back there. I mean, you know, obviously not everywhere you go, you see that talent uh, back there at quarterback and the depth we got to. You know, Tyson is also a baller. And um, – but, yeah, with DJ, I mean, obviously his arm strength is super impressive. I mean, he can throw the ball probably 100 yards. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the velocity that he puts behind it, you know, he's starting to, you know, get the offense down too. So he's going to be a special player. What is it that makes Landon uh, Xander so special? He, he looks – when I watch him run and, and play, he looks so smooth back there. But, yeah. you know, just from your standpoint, what makes him special? Yeah, definitely what you're saying. He's super smooth. Uh, he's got great technique and all his movements. Um, he's a super humble guy too. You know, he's he's really just you know kind of sat back and um, just watched and observed and and really taken his game to another level just um, from learning the defense. And so once you learn the defense, everything starts moving faster. So obviously, he comes in with a lot of athleticism. And you know, once you you know start learning the defense and you know picking up on some of the offensive keys, you know he can really um, just make plays. And that's really what he's done out here. You know, and Dabo was talking yesterday about the nickel position and kind of the search for the replacement there. Um, how important in your mind is flexibility um, going to be at that position for whoever wins the job or how, however you rotate at that position? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, uh, nobody's worked harder than Mike Jones in this offseason. Um, you know, he's really just bought in and he's just, he's just been working. I mean, all he does is work and grind and he's taking his game to another level. So it's been fun to watch him, you know, come out here and just play and, you know, really um, just show his improvements out here on the field. But yeah, it's, you know, it's super uh, important with flexibility. I mean, obviously, you know, when you got a guy like Isaiah Simmons leaving, um, you know, everybody kind of expects like that level, but they're, you know, they're different players. Um, and they've got different games to him. You know, Mike's better than Zay at some things. And obviously Zay has a, you know, freaky talent of his own. But, um, you know, we're very multiple with our defense and we do a lot of things. And, um, you know, I think Mike's really stepped up. I guess I was talking more about that third cornerback when you do go to a, a true nickel. Um, Dabo said you guys are rotating multiple players there. Maybe Goodrich, maybe a young safety could play there. Just what have you seen from that position? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, same thing, like, uh, see Malcolm Green in there some, you know. Uh, Malcolm's just, you know, he's a freak athlete as well. Just, you know, just a great football player. Loves the game, loves to practice. Um, seeing him making some strides out here, you know, guys like Mario and Lee that come in and play that as well. Um, you know, just putting some cover guys in there. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, helps us, you know, play in the back end when you got a bunch of good man-to-man -man cover guys up. So, um, yeah, we're – Pretty multiple with that. There's been some great reviews. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. There's been some great reviews so far from Green. Um, in your mind, where does he have to improve the most in order for Venables to just feel fully confident throwing him out there, maybe as a starter? I mean, if he's not already there. Just, just learning the defense. Uh, that's the biggest thing, you know, for a young guy coming in, is learning the defense, and then, and then also, you know, learning offensive tendencies and just pick it up on the game. And that comes with film and experience and, you know, he'll get there. Um, but it's just probably the toughest thing from a, you know, true freshman standpoint to pick up right away. And uh, so, you know, with the rest of this fall camp and film and, you know, stuff that we're going to do, you know, in the facility, um, you know, he'll, he'll improve with that. I know you don't get a lot of time to, to watch those defensive linemen, but that defensive line I'm, I'm sure looks a little different to you this year. 
Yeah. What do you see out of those those younger guys that bring so much athleticism there? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you bring in guys like Brian and Miles Murphy and Capehart and uh, you know, Trey, um, you know, I mean, they, they come in and, you know, they look the part. They look, they're ready to play. And just same thing, you know, true freshman, you got to get them in there, learn the playbook, you know, get some experience, get them in uh, some good on good stuff with the ones and, you know, let them rep and, um, and just, you know, get them used to, you know, playing at this, this level. And, um, but yeah, it's all about, it's all, it's all mental for them. So obviously um, physically they're there. Hey, Nolan, this is a Grace from The Athletic. Um, Darian was telling us earlier this week that the seniors had voted to lift the social media ban for the season. And I was just uh, wondering if you could kind of share your perspective and kind of what that conversation was like. Uh, yeah, um, so obviously that was kind of put in place a while back. And, um, you know, this year, you know, uh, you know, up and coming, they're going to have the name image likeness thing, I guess not while I'm here, but um, so ultimately, you know, we kind of talked about letting guys, you know, being able to, you know, build their brand uh, during the season as well. And, um, you know, we, and we try to, we're going to try to do that with, you know, as limited distractions as possible. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm supportive of that. You know, we came together as a group of seniors and decided that was best, um, you know, just going forward. Um, so pretty easy decision. No one as a senior, I mean, obviously guys don't play the same position, but being on defense and being a leader, what have you seen from Xavier Thomas? I know he's out there, but not necessarily, you know, obviously not with you guys, but you see him in the facility and, and working out. What has been his mindset from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, he's here every day. He's watching. He's getting better. He's been working hard, working on his body. And, you know, just it's, it's good to see him out here um, as an older guy, you know, kind of uh, looking after the younger dudes, you know, giving them some wisdom and then just taking – you know, time to work on himself. So, you know, it's been good um, to see him. I mean, he hasn't, hasn't missed a beat. He's been doing everything we've been doing. Um, it's just getting his body back right. Nolan, to follow up on Josh's question from earlier, what do you see as a difference between a player's association and the union? I know there's been some discussion about that. Um, I really don't know. I'm pretty sure when you unionize, the, I think that's when – I'm not really sure the money starts getting involved in that deal, but I think the players association is just kind of a, would be a group of guys um, from, you know, just around the country that can, you know, get together and uh, talk and, you know, give ideas and opinions to, you know, the higher up people in the NCAA and, um, you know, just gives, uh, us, just gives the players another voice, um, you know, within college football. Jalen Phillips uh, bounced around a little bit in the, you know, played a little Sam, played some both safety spots. What have you seen from him uh, this camp? Yeah, uh, JP has been super impressive. You know, they've thrown him around everywhere. You know, he's played Sam, he's played Dimes, played Strong, he's played Free. You know, they're, they're tossing him around. And, you know, as a, as a younger guy, that can be overwhelming, you know, just having all of these plays and, you know, a bunch of, stuff thrown at you like that. And he's been super mature about it. And, you know, all he's, all he's done is work. And um, just in the film room, you can tell by the, the questions he asks and, you know, ans and the answers to questions. And, um, you know, he's just doing a great job of just studying and learning. And he's going to be a, a great player here. No one is an Alabama guy. How cool was it for you to uh, see Coach McCorvey inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame a couple of weeks ago? Oh, that's awesome. You know, I love Coach McCorvey. Uh, he's such a great mentor for, you know, so many guys here. He's just seen so much, has so much wisdom, and it's just, you know, super deserving. Um, you know, he's just such a great coach, a great man, and it's just super cool to, you know, see him get that honor. 